Snake, that's a snake. That's a good freaking snake. Oh my God. Holy crap, that's a good snake head, you guys. Oh my God, look at this freaking rod. Up on. Oh my God. Holy crap, that's a big fish. Oh, we got him. We got him. Oh shoot, he hit on top. Oh my God. What is going on guys? Tall Fisherman Jay here, and today I am back with another challenge video. Now today is going to be a $50 challenge video, but what we're getting our products on is really, really interesting. Now by the title, you can see today we're doing a $50 Wish app fishing challenge. Yes. Now if you don't know what the Wish app is, let me explain. Before I explain what Wish app is, let me just tell you guys first off that I am not sponsored by the company Wish. This is not a paid advertisement. I wasn't paid to do this video at all. I love the Wish app. If you guys want to sponsor me, my email is in my about section on YouTube. Definitely holler at me, but this is not a paid sponsorship at all. That being said, the Wish app is an app online on your phone, iOS and Android, that you can pretty much buy anything. And when I mean anything, I mean anything. Gadgets, gizmos, literally anything. Anything. I got this little sailboat in a bottle on Wish app. Got this elephant on Wish app. Blender, this sweet knife. Yeah. This dog. <laughs> this hamster. I'm kidding, I didn't get a dog or a hamster on the app. But you could get stuff for your dog or your hamster. So you guys get the point. You can literally get anything on this app. So we're gonna switch over the view, we're gonna get on the app, and we're gonna order $50 worth of fishing gear. Now what I'm planning on doing is getting a rod, a reel, and some form of lure. But for line, we're gonna have it here. We have extra line, it's not a big deal. We're just gonna get the essentials, rod, reel, and lure. So let's turn the camera around, get on the app, and explore. There is the app right there. We're just gonna click it open. And we are on the Wish app home screen. Now, I just wanna give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about when I say they literally have anything. We're gonna type in a non-fishing related search term. We're just gonna type in, we're gonna type in cars. And as you can see, so much stuff pops up for your car. Just random things that you wouldn't even think you would need, but you kinda want lights and switches and bulbs and seats and, it's just random stuff, just a bunch of little random items and it's under all these categories, fishing, rod. And the objective here is to stay under or at $50. So we have a wide selection here. Uh, we have some retractable rods. We have some two piece rods here. How much was that retractable one? 30 bucks, it's kind of a lot. We're gonna look for like, under 20 bucks. 20 bucks or under for a rod would be great. Here we go, look at this one right here, $18. Oh, here's a better one, $14. $14 for a retractable rod. I mean, it looks legit. So this one is 14 bucks, and that leaves us a lot of room for a reel and lure. So let's go ahead and we're going to hit buy on that. And oh, sizes, we want, let's do, 2.4 meters. Yeah, we'll do 2.4 meters. Fishing, reel, bam. And what we're looking for here is a, a spinning reel would be best, obviously, to go. I think that rod was a spinning rod. It wasn't bait casting rod. So let's see what we got here. We got bait casters for $28. Oh, here's one for 16 bucks, black and white. That doesn't look half bad either. Fishing reel, 14 ball bearing, bass fishing, blah, blah, blah. All right, this one is the one we're gonna go with. We're gonna go with this one, it's 1450. And we're gonna do the 3000 series. Should we do 4000? Now we're gonna do 3000 series reel for $18, added to the cart, lures, perfect, right there. Ooh, look at this, we got like a, a 50 piece set of jerk baits for $24. That's not half bad. Let's see what else they got for jerk baits. Oh, swim baits. That'll work. That might work. Oh, here's a really solid one. Look at this set of jerk baits for 10 piece set of minnows for nine bucks. This may be a winner and it comes in various colors. That is dope and it has beads inside. I think that is what we're going to go with. It is seven. Let me see how much that costs. So it was $9 added to cart. So let's go to our cart and see how much we've spent. Card here is the rod, reel, and lures. Our total is 39 bucks. 
With shipping of $18, which comes to a total of $57. We are $7 over, which is okay. We're gonna take that with this challenge. It's only $7 over. If you guys went on this app, I'm pretty sure you can find a better deal with cheaper products. Uh, I just kind of picked the first thing I saw because they looked really cool, but we're gonna see. It's gonna take a couple weeks for these things to come in. So on video, it'll just seem like a couple of seconds. Uh, this stuff is probably cheap and it's from China, so we don't know how it's gonna perform, but here we go. Hey guys, we are back. We are back and when the items are here. Now it's been about two weeks. Two weeks wasn't that bad. Everything came in, everything came in perfectly fine. Uh, the packaging looks great. I'm gonna open up these packages. We got our rod, our reel, and our lures. They all came in pretty much a day right a day after each other so they all came in at the same time which is great so let's get right into it rod first i'm really 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 excited this little case whoa it's spilling out here we go it comes in this little uh i don't know leathery case here whoa <laughs> look at this now this is this was kind of nice i don't remember how much this was 16 bucks or something like that holy crap Look at that, gold accents on the handle, probably fake carbon fiber with the, look at that, it has the neochrome guides, what? Whoa, I'm gonna try and extend this thing all the way out. I believe it is a seven, I think it's a seven foot or seven, I don't know, it's like a six six or a seven footer. Look at that, this rod is pretty damn nice, you guys. I am pleasantly surprised by this rod. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be, I was expecting it to be like plastic and flimsy. Has some backbone to it. Has a lot of strength. The, the real seat is actually really uh, bright to say the least. And the guides are pretty cool. As you can see right there, they have like these neochrome guides if it'll focus. Dope. All right, so that is the rod. Next is the reel and here we go. Here's the reel. They, whoa, comes with an extra spool, I believe. I don't know if this is an extra spool or if you have to install it, but it comes with a black spool. And here is the reel itself. Nope, there's a spool on there already, so that is an extra spool. Wow, looks okay. The colorway is pretty cool. Black and white has the metallic spool on there now. If I wanted to, I could switch it for the black one, but I'll leave the metallic one on. There is the spinning reel. It is a gear ratio five, five to one gear ratio spinning reel. It's pretty smooth. I mean, of course it says made in China, but that was expected. Rod and reel are dope so far. Who knew, Wish app, my gosh. Last but not least is the lures. Now Some colors in here that'll work really, really well for peacock bass. So here we go. Here are the lures, the jerk baits that we ordered on Wish app. There is that green there, orange. That looks cool. The yellow and green. The multicolored pink and white. That's gonna look, work really well for peas. The multicolored pink and blue. The multicolored blue with the bottom white. And this one is actually my favorite. This one, I'm not sure what they're going for, but it looks really, really good. I mean, it would, it would work on peas for sure. We're gonna go ahead and set the rod and reel up, put some line on that bad boy, and we're headed out on the water right now to see how this stuff holds up to some fish. Let's go. All right, you guys, so we are on the water. We have our Wish app rod, reel, and lures. I got the jerkbait tied on right now. We're gonna try that first. We also have shiners here with us today. We're not only testing if this thing could catch fish, but we're testing if this thing could withhold to big fish. So that's why we have shiners today. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm super pumped. It's a beautiful day out. Let's do it. Oh, I got a fish. <laughs> oh my God. All right. First little guy on the Wish app jerk bait. Well, we know they like it. Probably one of the smallest, whoa. Probably one of the smallest bass I've ever seen in my life, but fish is a fish and this is a challenge and we will take it on the board. <laughs> Later, bud. Whoa, holy crap. Whoa, 
Holy crap, the same fish just came back three times. Oh my god. I had a jerk bait hit the water, got rushed. He got off. He came back for at least three times. What do we got? Oh my god, nice peacock bass. Jesus. What an aggressive. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I wasn't ready for it. It was actually unexpected. The rod held up pretty damn good. They seem to really like this lure. I don't even think I need shiners today, but wow, that was that was an intense hit. Holy crap. Sizable, decent fish on the wish app setup. Holy crap, I'm really surprised. Beautiful peacock bass. He's super, super light. He's almost like white. I've never seen one this light before. We're gonna try and get big ones, bigger than this. Let him go. Later, bud. And he's off. Oh, we got him. We got him. Oh, shoot. He hit on top. Oh my God. Holy crap. Look at that bar. Look at that rod bend. That rod is taking it. This rod is legit. Another decent sized bass. Oh my, or peacock bass, peacock. Holy crap. Yes. <laughs> Holy crap. This is insane, you guys. I am going crazy right now. I, I got shiners thinking that it was going to be rough with this jerk bait. Oh, and he's off. Another one back to freaking back, you guys. Right here in this little pocket. Wow. This may be my go to rod. I'm so serious. The rod is legit. That thing bent super smooth. The jerk bait is a really cool jerk bait. Those things were, I believe, like eight bucks. My God. Later, bud. Schooled up in one area. I mean, up. here we go. Another one. Oh my God. This is insane. This is freaking insane. Back to back to back peacock bass. They're definitely schooled up in this little pocket right here, you guys. There must be a ton of bait and they're just going crazy. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. All decent sized ones too. All really good sized ones. No, no, no. Oh my God. Oh my God. Third. Oh yeah. Look at this, you guys. Look at this. They're, they're feeding for sure. Look at that belly. That belly is full of minnows. Look at this, guys. Look at that belly. That belly is fat and full of food. They are wrecking my jerk bait because it is feeding time. And these guys are going crazy. There is bait here. I, I, I'm just lost for I am lost for words. This is insane. This is insane. All right, bud. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. He's off. All right, guys. So we see that the jerk bait work. Obviously, the rod, the reel, the jerk baits actually all hold up to these decent sized fish. But I switched to a different a kale hook here, and I'm gonna put a shiner on so I can set the hook. I want to see how this thing holds up to a nice, swift hook set. So let's try that. All right. So I got my nice juicy shiner on now. If I can guess, this thing's gonna get completely wrecked in about 10 seconds, maybe less. So let's see how this rod deals with the uh, hook set. Oh, fish on. That's a fish. All right, here we go. Oh, there we go. Oh my God, it's a bigger fish too. Live bait always gets the bigger fish. I set as hard as I possibly could on this thing. I wanna, I wanna, I, sh I wanna break this thing, you guys. I'm gonna put this rod to the absolute test. I set super hard and it, oh, and he's off. No. All right, here we go, round two. Got a shiner on. I'm gonna set, you guys, I wanna break this freaking rod. I want to see how this thing holds up to a monster hook set. Just gotta wait for this thing to get took, which should be any second now. Yep, he's took. There we go. There we go. Oh my god. This rod's holding up, you guys. This rod is holding up. I am putting the heat on this rod right now. I'm trying my best to just pull, pull, pull. And it's working really damn good. Here we go. Another nice P. Woo! Oh my God, he has like three followers. Holy crap. Here we go. Get up here, buddy. Get up here, get up here. Yeah. Beautiful peacock bass on the live shiner. Now I switched to live shiners, like I said, just so I can, just so I can set the hook, you guys. We're gonna keep going with the shiners for a little bit longer. Got another shiner in there. After this shiner, I think I'm gonna switch over to a jerk bait again. Up oh, on, oh my God. Holy crap, that's a big fish. Oh my God, that's a really big fish, you guys. That's a giant fish. Oh my God, that's a giant fish. This is a giant. I can't lose this fish. Holy crap. This is a big fish. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, it's normal sized. <laughs> Holy crap, how in the world did that happen? What the heck? You guys, I thought this was a freaking giant, enormous fish. But I somehow, some way, foul hooked him. God, I thought he was a monster. What a beautiful fish. This rod, I'm telling you, is the sauce. It's killing it right now. You put up a good fight, thought you were bigger than you were. And he's off. There we go. That is a fish. And we are going to set. There we go. Oh yeah. Decent sized fish, you guys. I'm in love with this rod. This thing is freaking awesome. Another pee? Yep, another pee. Whoa, this guy's taking some drag. There you go. Nice. Look at that hook set, you guys. Look at that, top of the mouth, perfect. Another beautiful peacock bass. This actually might be the biggest today. It's a solid fish, very, very pretty. Orange, yellow, green, blue. Oh, later, bud. All right, guys, so we are at a new spot. We pretty much slayed the freaking peacock bass. So we're at a different little canal here, which I know has big bass and actually big snakeheads. So what we did was we brought along a topwater frog. We're gonna try this and see how this rod and reel holds up to a snakehead. Hopefully we'll hook up with one. We're gonna try and finish off our day here strong. Let's get it. There we go. Oh my God, holy crap. All right, well, first, <laughs> first uh, fish. Oh my God, I freaking launched this guy out of the water. Little baby snake head. Pretty big blow up for such a small fish. But hey, that freaking counts, I'll count it. Little guy on the Wish App setup. First top water head of the day, which is pretty cool. Not the giant that I wanted, but man, just small little snakehead. This guy was born probably, I don't know, a couple months ago, maybe six months ago. Other than snakehead fry, this is probably the smallest snakehead I've ever seen. Super cute, but there has to be a mother around. So we don't want this guy. We want its parents. Let's get a bigger one. There we go. There we go. What do we got? Snake, that's a snake. That's a good freaking snake. Oh my God. Woo! Holy crap, that's a good snake head, you guys. Oh my God, look at this freaking rod. Oh my God, death rolling, he's death rolling. Oh, oh my God. That's a good one, yes. Holy shit. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I don't want to lose you. He's death rolling. Oh my God, he's a pretty fish. All right, we're going we're gonna to flip him. Ugh. Woo! Look at that. You guys, get on Wish App right now and order yourself a freaking rod and reel. Holy crap, this thing is insane. Look at the size of that freaking snakehead. We just caught that baby. And right after, maybe two casts, a nice little four or five pounder. Oh my God. Look at this, you guys, on the Wish app setup. Holy crap. This thing was $19 and it's holding up to some big old fish today. Third species, we've got largemouth, peacock, snakehead. Wow, look at that beast, you guys. This I'd say is about, I'd say he's like a four pounder, maybe a five. I'd say about a four. He's a solid guy, he's not too giant, but still a beautiful beautiful fish third species we're gonna try our best to get some more i could end the video off right now but i'm gonna keep trying to get more fish like this one wow all right you guys well that is going to do it for me and the wish app combo this was insane this was a 50 dollars wish app fishing challenge that has been completely demolished this challenge was nothing this rod and reel was actually surprisingly very very good sturdy reliable i mean no pieces on it came apart didn't show any signs of breaking or anything like that this thing caught three different species peacock bass largemouth bass and snakehead the snakehead and peacock bass were actually pretty big 
I got shiners just so I can set the hook to see how strong this thing was and it freaking held up as well as the jerk baits that I got on Wish app also caught fish. You guys stay tuned for the next episode with this when I go and catch some saltwater fish. That should be very, very interesting. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you enjoy the content that I create for you. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you later.